popular holiday destination of calm beaches and blue lagoons has just stormed into international headlines with a political crisis. On Monday, the Maldives president, Abdullah Yameen, declared a 15-day state of emergency. He also had top judges arrested for revoking terrorism charges against its opponents. Clearly, the, the president is using military force to intimidate the court. And now we're in uh, a situation where who knows how it's going to play out. It wasn't long before potential rivals were also detained. Right now, police are here to arrest me. I remain steadfast in my resolve. I don't know what charges they have against me. I have not done anything to be arrested. I urge you to remain steadfast in your resolve too. While other opponents, like former president and currently exiled main opposition leader Mohammed Nasheed, immediately called for their release and international intervention. The Maldives has faced bouts of political uncertainty since becoming independent from British rule in 1965. Its longest ruling president, Mahmoud Abdul Gayoum, survived three coup attempts. The last one in 1988 was stopped only thanks to intervention from the Indian Armed Forces. Gayoum's rule ended in 2008 after he lost to the now exiled Rashid in what's seen as the country's first free election. Nasheed's first move after assuming office was to increase civil liberties and improve social services. But he had inherited a heavy debt and met civil unrest by Gayoum's supporters. And a revolt in 2012 by the police and army forced Nasheed to resign. He was later arrested and convicted on now overturned charges. The former leader managed to win the next election in 2013 only to see the result annulled by the Supreme Court. The next round brought the current president to power. Yamin's term has seen the country turn to China for aid and away from its traditional allies. It's also seen the suppression of civil rights and dissent, with the current president moving to consolidate his power. Will he succeed? Or will the international community step in to try and prevent the country from becoming an autocracy? Shweb Hassan the newsmakers.